Good morning. Time to make the Ticino. Well, today it's going to be 50 degrees. Still pretty chilly. And this whole week is going to be chilly with off-on chances of rain. Days like this are always cold and damp. Not my favorite weather. But I'm glad I have a house to live in and keeps me nice and warm and I have plenty of things to do. So today I have to go out. Um, I don't do that much anymore. I, I'm to the point where I've created my little sanctuary here at my house. I have everything I need and want and I'm just very comfortable here. So, but I have to take mom to the doctor today, to the dentist actually. So uh, I'll visit with her for a little bit. And then in her city, one of the senior centers is having an art show. And I'm thinking about maybe stopping by there and picking up an application and maybe I can take some of my jewelry and a couple of my paintings and see if I can't sell them. But I don't really know which ones I'd want to sell. Um, some of them I have up on the walls in my basement. So, but we'll see. I have a couple of really big paintings that maybe I could get a decent price for. But I don't really know if I want to sell them. We'll see, but I would like to sell some of my jewelry, and I still have some that I made that um, I don't have a whole lot, but I do have some that maybe I can sell. Um, if you don't know, um, I, I'm kind of a hobby artist. I paint I mostly landscapes and seascapes. Um, and um, also um, fused glass jewelry. I need to get back into that. That was really nice. But the reason I'm not doing it is because I have all these downsizing and purging projects I want to do. But I should intersperse that with some fun things too. But right now the garden is my priority. So, but once I get that done, um, at least with the garden, the purging, I'll do more of that starting when the, in the fall when the weather starts getting cold again. Um, but in the meantime, I should do some of my art too because I enjoy doing that. So let's put some cream in the, in the not coffee. <laughs> this is like not meat. Now I have not coffee. But that's okay. And this is a Ticino French roast. So we'll see how that is. It's supposed to be a dark roast. Let's give it a taste. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Um, I think I like the hazelnut better, but this is fine. This will do. So it looks like coffee, but there's a little something that is missing from it. I can't quite explain it. It, it doesn't have the richness of coffee, but it's very good. So it'll do for now until I'm A-OK -okay again with my stomach issues, which is getting better. I'm taking medication. I'm like halfway through that, and it is getting better. So thank you all for your prayers. I, it, it's helping. Um, so thank you very much for that, and um, I really, really appreciate that. I, I really, really do. And I know so many of you also say you have... GI issues and you're also in my prayers so thank you so much I appreciate and love you all 
So um, I'm going to enjoy this coffee. Um, I'm not going to get into too many big projects today because um, I have to get ready to go to my mom's around one or two and I don't know. It seems like when I have somewhere that I have to go, I'm not real good at doing projects. So we'll see what comes up today. I'm still cooking down my refrigerator and um, freezer. So yesterday the dish I made with the chili and the mac, mac and cheese was really good and I know the chili I should not have eaten but it really didn't bother me when I did eat it so it was okay you know um, but I have still macaroni and cheese left so I'll probably have that for dinner tonight with m more salad I have a little bit of lettuce left and uh, then I'm going to move on to my freezer veggies so, okay, I'm going to uh, go have a little sip of my coffee, and then I will meet you at the budget book. Okay, well, today is Wednesday, but yesterday I did not spend any money. Oh, bandit! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's poking my arm. What are you doing? I'm trying to talk to the people. Can I talk to the people? Can I? No, talk to me. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, we had to have an intermission for cuddles and hugs. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, um, I forget what I was saying. <clears throat> but back to my budget book. Um... I, I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm at least going to stop by that uh, art show place and pick up an application or fill one out and see what I can gather up because then I can declutter some of my artwork because I can't keep it all, you know, and probably when I pass my children will have to declutter it anyway, although they do like my artwork, but you know, you can only hang up so many paintings in your home. So, um, that's one thing I could do, plus maybe it'll bring in a couple of extra dollars. That would be nice. Um, I mean, I'm nowhere near, you know, Thomas Kincaid or even Bob Ross, but, you know, um, I, I think I, I've sold a couple paintings before. And uh, rather than sitting and collecting dust... You know, it would be nice to get a few extra bucks for it. So, um, you know, people can call anything art, and then depending on what other people think, you know, some people splash some paint on a canvas and call that art. And then it's like, oh, yeah, I see an angel in there. Wow, look at that. That was a really cool thing to do. But anyway... Um, one of the reasons, like with my artwork, I don't do it all the time. I should, but I fuss too much. If something isn't right, I fuss and fuss with it until I get it to where I like it. And I'm not a real loose painter, you know, where you take the brush and you put a stroke up on the canvas and and leave it be. I, I, I wish I could, but, and I suppose if I did it more, I, I'd become more confident. I guess that's what I lack. I lack confidence. And if you're a really good artist, you have to be able to mix the right color, put the right amount on your paintbrush, and just dab it on your canvas, you know, so... But I'll work on it and see if I can't get a little bit more confidence in my painting abilities. 
So anyway, that's my budget book for today. Um, I don't have to cook today. I need to get back to my cooking too, but right now, with me being so busy, uh, I'm happy I have a lot of foods that I can just either bake or heat up or, you know, do things like that with. So if you're a busy person, think about maybe cooking one extra meal and eating one and freezing one. And then you'll have things to eat on busy days and you won't have to, you know, stop at the fast food place and pick yourself up a, a burger or whatever else you like to eat. I used to go to the burger places maybe once every two weeks and pick up something. This is when I ate meat, well, a good dozen years ago. But I very rarely go anymore because the fast food places around here don't have any vegetarian options. Regular restaurants do, but the fast food places, they're like behind the times. <clears throat> Other than Burger King, every once in a while I'll stop and pick up a Whopper, uh, Impossible Whopper. So, okay, now my little buddy needs to go out, so... Um, I'll be back in a little bit, and we'll see what else is going on. What is the matter? What is the matter? Hmm? What's wrong? Do you have to go out? Do you have to go out? Okay. Yes, I still have a little bit of a mess on the table, still from planting. I'll have that cleaned up. That's a little project I can do today. Okay, well, I'm back home. And everything went well with the dental appointment, and um, I had a nice visit with my mom. Um, I was going to go home, and, you know, um, she said, Oh, don't you want to have a cup of tea with me? So it's like, yeah, okay, I'll have a cup of tea with you. And then we had a nice chat. So, you know, older people get lonely. They... Uh, they um, they isolate themselves, which isn't really always a good thing. Um, I know I find myself doing it. So, but I don't mind. You know, I don't need a lot of company. But it is nice to see the family. So, you know, I don't know that um, friends, you know, I think if you have friends, a lot of them... Um, they don't like to go out like they used to. Now, I'm not talking about woohoo, let's go party. I'm talking about even for breakfast or lunch. I mean, you have, especially men, um, I mean, you have those guys that meet at McDonald's and, you know, kind of have the good old boys club, uh, which is nice, I think, you know. But, uh, and women, I think, more go, go to lunch. But um, not everybody is that social. And if you've not been that much of a social butterfly when you were younger, you probably aren't going to be when you're older either. And then, of course, you have the problem where uh, your friends become, you know, disabled. They can't walk like they used to or, or worse. You know, I've lost several friends. Um, but... Um, so, and my mom, she always said she wanted to live to be at least 100. So she's going to be 94 on Saturday, bless her little heart. Um, but I see that, especially if you don't have a larger family that you can lean on, I can see where a lot of people can get very lonely. So, and all her friends are gone. I mean, they've been gone for a long time. And um, so she doesn't have that support anymore. So I'm kind of seeing, it's funny, as you get older, if you have an older parent, I mean, very old, um, you can almost see what your life is going to be like if you are blessed enough to live that long. Because I can see looking back of things that happened in my mom's 
70s, you know, and um, then 80s, you know, so I can kind of see it's like looking in a crystal ball, um, you know, and if you lost your parents earlier, of course, you don't have that same experience, but it's been really a blessing to for me to grow old with my mother. And I think I have a little more patience. I know a lot of younger people, especially if they have a family and they work, you know, they, they don't have as much patience with their uh, parents as maybe they should have. So I guess my whole point of this little talk is to um, be patient with elderly people. You know, if they can't hear you, I know my mom's hearing is very bad now. She never had bad hearing, but she has very bad hearing now. And um, I have to adjust my, my voice. I have to look at her when I speak. I have to speak slowly because a lot of times people that get to be that age, their brain can't process what you're saying as quickly. And I know especially people that talk really fast, that's like the worst, you know. So unless an elderly person is not hard of hearing and you do talk fast, that's fine, you know, uh, then carry on. But sometimes we have to slow our pace down to, to match their pace. Well, like I was saying before little Missy decided to scream because the neighbors were out talking, but when you're dealing with an, somebody that's elderly, elderly like that, I think it's important to slow down to their pace not expect them to up their pace to match yours because they can't do it. It, it. It's just not possible for them to do it. But you as the younger person can definitely slow down your pace to match theirs. So just be patient um, and, you know, be understanding. It's, it's not like they're doing it on purpose. It, it's just what happens as you get older. So I'm looking here at the Marks flyer, and I see here they have vegetable plants, two for three dollars. And they're, I think, four inch pots. Well, that's gone up a lot. You know, it used to be, you could get, they used to be like a dollar a piece. So that's gone up, you know, 50%. And then their flats, uh, half half uh, flats are seven forty seven. Well, you used to get a whole flat for seven forty seven, so that's gone up like crazy. And their hanging baskets now are thirteen thirty seven. And now, mind you, this is a discount grocery store. And then in the springtime now they have um, they have nursery products too. Uh, those are thirteen thirty seven, and those used to be like seven something. So those have almost doubled in in price. Um, a lot of the garden accessories are like ridiculous. Um, the price. So, I was thinking about getting a shepherd hook, a couple of them. And they do have some in here. One, the one hook is $7.99. The two hooks is $9.99. Because what's happening is my wind chimes on the deck, I think I might have said this already, but the, the mesh netting is cutting the wind, so I can't hear my wind chimes very much anymore. So what I'm thinking is getting a couple shepherd's hooks and hanging them outside the deck so that I can hear them again because I miss them. I, I love hearing my wind chimes. So anyway, um, that's all I have for you today, my friends. 
Uh, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.